Imagine a world where there is no maternity care and women have no access to a doctor when giving birth. Then imagine the child is stillborn and its mother is so badly injured during labor she is left incontinent. Shame and isolation becomes her life, shunned by society and grieving for her lost child. This is reality for an estimated two million women in Africa. Women just like our mothers, sisters, cousins and aunts. I got my first July in 1990. It was October 1990. I was having my firstborn child. I had labored for three days. I was told I couldn't have the baby because it was already dead. When it came to traveling, I had to prepare for the journey. Three days before, you avoid liquids. Only fa very close family members knew about it. Even my friends, most of them did not know. But you know, the fistula problem also made me not get any other child. It was just that stillbirth, and that was the end. Thankfully, for women like Priscilla, there is hope. Freedom from Fistula Foundation provides free maternity care and free surgeries to heal women who are suffering. Our Fistula projects and maternity units have the capacity to help up to 10,000 women and children every year, and their emotional healing is just as important as their physical healing. So Helen, we're going to just check your blood pressure. Hopefully that medication we're giving you is helping it to settle. And then we can send you home. A big focus that we have here is on sort of personalised care and kind, loving care. And I think that's probably the biggest difference between what we do here and you know what most women will receive at a public hospital. They don't treat the patients particularly well. It's, yeah, they can be cruel, they can be um, unloving, and they can you know leave somebody in labour by themselves with no family members around. And um, yeah, it's. It's, I think, really hard for, for those patients, but hopefully what we do here will be our very best clinically, but also from a holistic point of view, we'll be able to take care of the women. The women of Africa, mothers, sisters, aunts, cousins, grandmothers, no longer need to suffer in silence. This is not just about buildings, it's not just about people. It's really about changing a culture. When uh, Women in the villages are often treated very badly when they're in labour. People will slap them and be very unkind to them. And we here feel that every woman should be given dignity and should be loved and taken care of. And in our fistula unit, people actually comment about the wonderful atmosphere and how caring an environment it is. And we absolutely plan to have that as part of our maternity unit as well and that is the message that we'll be giving to our newly trained midwives not just to be there to deliver the baby but to give the woman dignity and give her her place and to treat her with love and with care and for me that is more important than the building or the people but they'll leave here with a very good memory of the delivery of their baby. Our goal is for every woman in Africa to have access to free maternity care, which we believe is a basic human right in the 21st century. With your help, we can achieve this goal. With your support, we can help more women like Priscilla. I was very happy to learn that it was a success. And I, it's like I was beginning 
another life because I had been leading a different life for 19 years. Mm. 